Hello, my lovelies. Oh, knocking everything about here. Okay, so while I just get you up on my screen, how is everybody? Well, it's nearly the end of celebration. So, Tuesday? No, tomorrow. No, Monday. <laughs> I will get there in a minute, I promise. Okay, so let me get you up on the big screen so I can see you all. Okay, so, hi Claire. Sorry Claire, I am a little bit late. I am seven minutes late. How very rude of me. Hi Louise. Okay, so my packet is very ripped. I need to get some proper little plastic wallets for these. So, we will be using the rainbow dies and, oh, none of these are celebration, are they? Oh, well, there we are. Never mind. I thought I was going to use celebration items and then I had an idea in my head and I ran away with it without checking. But anyway, but as we're on the, on the subject, it's the 26th of February, 2022 and... Why is it doing that? I don't want to join Zoom. Keep saying join Zoom, join Zoom, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hi Valerie. Hi Mum. How are you all? <laughs> be there or be square. That was it used to be something my uh, we always used to say when I was younger. Apparently, I'm not sure. Anyway, so um. Celebration finishes on Tuesday, on Monday, sorry. Getting my words muddled up. I am very tired today. Uh, exhausted, in fact. <laughs> had a very bu busy couple of days. But I had an idea that I wanted to try and do Rainbow of Happiness. But in completely different colours to what I would normally use. And if anything, maybe a little bit vintage -y kind of style. So I've brought in Ranunculus Romance as well. I don't know if we're not stamping any rainbows, but I have spent, this is why I'm late, because I have a dish of happiness. So I have like, I can't remember how many different sorts of papers I actually cut I just cut rainbows and got carried slightly away I also used the border rainbow to cut myself a piece but it's not going that way but you know <laughs> the only thing I haven't done is grabbed a piece of is it the lighting away from my desk is shocking tonight because the big light in the room doesn't really project enough light for me to see, but I would like to have, um, oh, hang on, I've got an, uh, that's right, we're going to go with something else. Okay, so we're going to be using this paper, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's called Heart. Heart and Home. I couldn't read my own writing then because I've made my own little label. So we're going to be using a piece of this and then the colours from this I will then be using some for the rainbow. Not that tiny weeny bit there. And then I cut a couple of these out because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I don't know. We'll figure something out. And then I have some... So I stamped some paper with the ranunculus stamp set in cookie crumb cake not cookie so there's another one and then i cut a few crumb cake these pieces and you know we just got a bit carried away i cut some clouds so i thought save me cutting a lot while i'm on here with you i would cut it all before we came on so i'm trying to turn them over all the right way so i can see what we've got here as far as rainbows now I don't like the black stark black so that's just going to be put out of the way 
I'll probably use that on a different card. So, organising, organising, organising. So, I do love the gold rainbow. Woo! Love that. Oh, nice bees. I'm having Winnie the Pooh, Claire. I am indeed. I decided to embrace my inner Winnie the Pooh and I'm going to have Winnie the Pooh in my kitchen. Right, I'm definitely going to have the biggest one as a gold. So let's just move these out of the way so we can sort out our rainbow. Once we've done that, I will know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the theory. So we don't need the biggest ones of any of the others. And I don't think we're going to use the stripy ones either for this one. Maybe if we have time and I don't take the whole entire session to make one card, <laughs> we'll have time to make another one because I have plenty of rainbows left. So, I'm thinking maybe we'll have that one as well. And then maybe this one and that one well I wish there was more sections I'd have more right okay so we're going to go with that rainbow for now let's move that to the side a second while we just put these back into the pot and all the other bits of rubbish that seem to come out of that pot at the same time so them down there for a minute right okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my card base because oh hang on I might have one cut already I just need to score it Let's get, get the trimmer hi Monica so score at ten and a half Fold. Oh, <laughs> um, burnish. Found my bone folder. <laughs> okay, so I don't need a full length of this. So my card is fourteen and a half. So if we go. Actually, we're going to go six and a half, and then it only needs to be ten wide, which gives me a half a centimetre border all the way around. So that will go on the bottom, like so. Then we're going to have our rainbow divider piece. I might even cut that off. Well, well, we're gonna we'll see to that in a second. So then, oh, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna cut ten by fourteen, and then. We can put that onto there and then we can cut this to, so this needs to be nine and a half, is that right? Nine and a half, would that be right? Whoa! So I can put that on there to give that a piece of border, then that will go across the bottom, covering that completely like so, and then this piece will go across, across there, and our rainbow will be up here. Sentiment across here, clouds, yeah, I think that will work. I know it's a lot of layers, but... Or, actually, to save on the layers, we could move 
get that out of the way. And then how far down were we going to put this? So it's going to be there. So we only need this to be about seven. This might be confusing the hell out of a lot of people, but you know, it'll make sense to me in a minute. <laughs> Ta da! Just like that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to cut that off. Right, I need to know what sentiment I'm going to use because I will know. Let me just have a little think about that. Did I keep that out? Where are we? Uh, <laughs> uh, big congratulations, although I don't think that's very big. Now, my only thing is, is I can't read backwards very well, so I can't work out. Oh, there it is. That's not going to be very big on. The... Nope, it's not big enough. It's not big enough. Happy birthday, it'll have to be, won't it? Okay. So I'm going to trim this off. So it needs to be ten and a half in total. So there. Or maybe not, actually ten it should be. Oh dear. Right, so 10 takes it to there. So you may have a couple of bits on each end that start to look a bit odd. So where have I put my snips? So you can just tidy up the ends. And then these pieces I can just, I will just glue those down a bit so they will be fine. So that is now 10 wide, which will go across the matting layer, like so. Right, let's chop this off. So happy birthday is going to go on there. So I think there will be fine. Make sure it's level. Hi Louise! Oh, see, look. Trying to catch up with everybody, and I've is that straight? Yes, okay. So I am going to just put a bit of texture on here. So I'm going to take these, I don't know what you, I don't know what you'd actually call it, but it's like little lines i suppose it could look like rain if you put it that way um where's my little my little block now then what color should we do this one because there's some really pretty colors in here so or do i just do crumb cake let's have a little tester because we can always turn it over it's absolutely fine. And I mean, it doesn't have to look like a sky because that's not what I'm... I would say I'm not going for a sky look, but we're just going to go with the flow and see what happens. It might end up looking like a sky. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Now I don't have, 
don't shoot me. I don't have cinnamon cider, so I'm thinking maybe Cajun craze would still go with this, but we're going to have a little tester. I'm going to pop it down on my desk and then it goes straight. And then when you pick it up, it's fabulous. Right, I'm just going to test it on my... I think that will look totally awesome. So putting it on my grid paper. Hi, Vicky. Right. Oh, I do like the font on this happy birthday. It's a bit nice. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. I'll just keep saying right tonight, okay? Right tonight. Okay. I love, know that I've got the fold on the wrong side. So I glue it down and make the card backwards. Right. So that's going to go like that. And then... Oh, if I can actually pick them up. I'm going to pop the rainbow so it's coming out from the coming out from the card like so obviously when I glue them they will behave a bit more and stay where I've put them and I will put this up on dimensionals like so and then there will be some clouds in the sky. Oop, chucking everything everywhere. Now, do I like that? I can't decide. I think. I love the rainbow. I'm trying to decide if I like the rest. <laughs> because hmm. What about Nope. <laughs> not going to work. Filled in or not filled in? That is the question. Do you think, Claire? I don't know. Hi, Anne. Hi, Linda. I love this bee paper too, Linda. I will show you a card I made the other day, which then gave me the inspiration to use it on this one. Um, I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going and I think I might do that. Yeah, and then a bit of bling, and I think it'll be fine. And do you know what it is? Do you know what it is, guys? It's because I am not a neutrals colour kind of person. So I don't normally do something like this. <laughs> so let's glue it down before I change my mind. Now, is, oh, I was going to say, is the glue going to play the game? But it clearly is. It's doing a very good job, really. Oh, there's a lid. Okay. Make sure the card opens the right way. Okay, right, uh -huh. oh, Linda, that would look epic, wouldn't it? And then it might balance it out a bit more. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, look, my, my glue, when I shook it, it spat everywhere. How rude. It's only this one particular glue. None of the others have ever done that before. Sorry, I'm just going to take a slurp of my coffee. I don't want to cough over everybody. 
Okay, right. Okay, Linda, you've given me an idea. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me while I just cut out some gold bits. Okay. Find the right little bit. And then we shall cut this out. Okay. There's one. Excuse me while I just do the other side. <laughs> oh, apologies. My silly stomach thing is playing up today, so I'm probably going to hiccup all the way through the video. But I'm thankful that I have not been doing it constantly like I was before. So, you know, a little bit while I'm live. I can cope, I can cope with that, I'm sure. And I'm pretty sure you'll all forgive me. <laughs> okay. Right, Miss Linda. I am not going to use that glue because that one spits. I don't like it when it spits. It's rude. So I'm going to do something that I always think I should do and I never do it. If it's not too dusty, that is. And clearly it actually is. So just gonna give it a wipe. Place that on there. And then I'm going to do some I'm gonna do the dots on this piece because I don't want the glue to ruin the, the gold shine. Because you can't take, you cannot be dulling the sparkle. So I'm going to place that onto there. Well, this is going to be like the big reveal now. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you, Monica, for answering that for me. Okay, yeah, it's from the celebration and you've only got till Monday. It ends on Monday, guys and gals. Okay, so let's just do that. Oh, look at that, Linda. Woo! Thanks, lovely. Right, let's move that. Don't need that out again. So I think... I think this needs a bit more a bit more something so I am going to grab a brush I can find one that's got somewhere near the right colour on it that's a that's a yellow that's not gonna work I need some more blending brushes I don't have enough what's on that one Mm, that might be somewhere near. So I'm going to grab my crumb cake. Now I don't want it to be really dark, so I'm just going to I'm just going to go around the very edge. It's just too stark for me. It just looks a bit harsh. So I'm just going to go around the edge, and to me it looks a little bit green actually. I must have had green on this one before. So I just want to soften it a bit and then I think I may use a bit of this. So I'm going to use Cajun Craze but I'm going to stamp it off. Probably two or three times so I can get it nice and pale. Stamp it three times and then I'm going to take it off there and I'm going to just 
just give it a bit of a bit of something because you know if you're making a piece of art <laughs> I say art just yeah okay so <laughs> Right, okay. So, if you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, I do a live every Saturday over on Facebook, and then I usually don't edit it very much at all and put it straight onto YouTube. So, I'm talking to the ladies that join me on the live, so... Um, if you feel like you're missing out on the fun, just come over and join us. It's a UK time. Sorry, I've got a bit of glue on there. Now, I know you can get the silicon rubbers, but I don't have one of those. <laughs> right, so that is going to go there. And then the rainbow. So the rainbow is going to have to go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that on there. Now, I could... I could glue that down, couldn't I? Yes, I could. So let's glue this down. Because I don't need to do anything else with my little panel. It's going to go on there. Oh, if we finish this in like quick sticks, I could do a one sheet wonder because I want to make one to make some cards. But obviously, I need a one sheet wonder to do my cards. So that's that. I've put that on slightly wonky as well. That was clever, wasn't it? Okay, so that's going to go there. So what I'm going to do is very gently, I'm going to put it down a little bit more and just mark either side with my pencil. And then I know that my rainbow has got to meet that pencil line, which will just be below that. So let's start gluing our rainbow pieces and all I'm doing is squeezing the glue just so that it makes a dot and putting little dots all around my rainbow and you know I'm gonna get my reverse tweezers which I love and I am going to use them to put my rainbow on. can see a hair get off right so this one will go just here gold needs a bit of encouragement to stay down so so these papers this one now obviously that one is from the is it blessed yeah, that one. Um, the one I said before. And then this one is from Pattern Party. And actually putting it sideways is easier. So we're going to have a vote. Do you want to see me do a one sheet wonder? Or would you like me to make another card with some more rainbows? Because I have other ideas that I can do. Just might have to die cut something a little bit more. There's a cloud stuck on there. Right, where's the last bit of my rainbow? I just thought then I haven't done the last piece. And then this one is the... Something of hope, is it? One with the... Um, heron. Is herons. It is herons, isn't it? Please tell me it's herons. Okay, so I'm going to put some dimensionals on this one. So I'm going to do it one there, one there. I think we need two more, so one there, one there. If you were posting this, I would put a few more dimensionals on it. But I'm not posting it. 
I'll probably keep this one. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll probably give it to somebody, but it'll be somebody I can just give it to. Ooh, I had a beautiful card from Reet. One she wonder, one she wonder. Right, my, my reverse tweezers, these ones, look, got glue all over them as well. Glue everywhere. Woohoo! These came with, um, I haven't got a Cricut, <laughs> but I, um, I had a set of tools that you, that you would get to go with a Cricut because I have a silhouette. But you can get, all you have to do is put reverse tweezers into, um, a search engine shop. <laughs> <laughs> or a shop with a search. That's not straight, is it? <gasps> Give us a second, guys. Um, yeah, so just put it in as reverse tweezers and they will come up. But I tell you what, when you're trying to do something intricate and something's got glue all over it, whatever, and I have um, issues holding things for a long time, these ones, you squeeze it, it grabs it, you don't have to hold it then, and then it just holds it for you. Oh, I love them. Right, so that's that bit. <sighs> uh, one sheet wonder, one sheet wonder. Any more votes? Any more? Did anybody else say? Oh, everyone's saying one sheet wonder. Oh, okay. I'll do a one sheet wonder then with Ranunculus Romance. Sweet, sweet. Right, now we've got to choose colour for that. So, right, let me... See, I really wanted to put one of these on, but... I don't think it's really going to fit in with the... No, it's not. I quite like that, like that. So then, let's just dot our clouds. Oh, I really like this now. I've nearly finished. So I think I have to be careful because my clouds do have a right way up because of the writing that I stamped on them before. So... Let's put that one there. Maybe we'll put one. No, we won't. It doesn't look right. Let's put that one there. And oh, I will put some sparkles, some gems of some shape on here. Maybe if we put a small one there and the big one there, and then we could chop one in half just to balance it out maybe so pop that one there yeah so let's just trim that off so bit of glue in it bit of glue that's upside down in it oh can't cope with that okay we'll bin that one <laughs> right we're getting it up the right way this time that's up the right way and we're gonna trim that off and then we will place this over here grab another one that one goes up that way oh my shoulder just went can't think why <laughs> so we went for a lovely walk well I didn't I scooted <laughs> I had my scooter um, around the local castle here Powys Castle and it was a fabulous afternoon oh I might have one of those um a nice bee trinket left actually oh yes 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 i agree vicky <laughs> okay so i think that's all of them stuck okay so let's get where did i put the i got a bee out the other day and i didn't use it where have i put it Isn't that beautiful? We think the bee would look all right there. Or should we put the bee down here somewhere to balance out the rainbow? Oh, I don't know. It has to be over that side, doesn't it? 
What do we think? Should put the B there. I'm just going to get the glue dots while you think about it. Yes, Louise, they do. They grab you. You squeeze them to grab the item, and then you let go, and it holds them. So you don't have to um, use any sort of. My problem is I can't hold things for a long time. So. Um, up by the happy. Okay, and you win. Oh no! See now, Vicky says on the DSP to balance. Oh no. Okay, Monica says ha on the happy birthday. Okay, we're going to do that then. <laughs> right, we can put gems down here. It's all right. It's all good. It's all right. It's, it's okay. Right, so... Ooh, not entirely sure what... Um, ooh. Well, I've got three of that colour left, so I think we're going to use... I think it's crushed curry. And where is my pick tool? Here it is. <laughs> so we're going to go. Ooh. I think we should have two down here. Like so. And then one. One. Or should we just have three here? Last it, I'm sticking it up there. <laughs> I cannot make decisions today. Right, there we go. I like that. And then on the inside, we will stick a matting layer and I will probably just... Um, put a sentiment and possibly a piece of scrap of this because I have a few pieces. Yeah, I think it would be. And the, the other thing as well is that if I put that there to balance it with the rainbow, it's too close to one of the big bees on the DSP. So if I put it over that side, I think this side, yeah, it didn't work. So that I think that looks lovely. So there we go. That's the card. Right. Two seconds while I um, just clear up these pieces. Now, the colours I'm thinking of using. Now, I've got very vanilla DS, uh, very vanilla cardstock. I have very vanilla cardstock. So, colours. Now, Thank you, ladies. Okay, so colours to do this one. I was going to do a monochrome one. So, um, maybe something like... <sighs> basic, more basic grey, maybe, on vanilla. Or, oh, I don't know. We could go mad and use Cajun craze. What co Give me some colours, ladies. What colour do you think would look good? monochrome with this so everything will be stamped in the same color if you don't know what monochrome means <laughs> thank you lisa hi by the way <laughs> um hi valerie yeah so um i'm thinking maybe I wonder if Knight of Navy would look quite nice. Yeah. I think we'll go with Knight of Navy. And we can do Stamped Off with Knight of Navy, which will give us a nice shade. I just, I just, you know, I really should tidy up after myself, but hey-ho. Right. Why does that... Oh, because it's... One of them's over here. I'm just going to grab my chamois to clean this one. Okay, so I'm going to start off with... I have a big flower missing from that as well, do I? Oh no, 
is this one okay so it's just going to be random so i'm just going to clean this one off i use this one first to give me a sort of layered look uh, two seconds while i just find my other blocks because you know random oh i don't know where the other one is okay we're just going to manage with the blocks i've got i think okay so i really want a big flower so i am going to bring in flowing flowers and if you don't like stamp surgery i apologize because i've already committed it i cut the leaves and the dottage off the flower but we're going to go with the big flower So, I'm going to grab my big block and the Knight of Navy, bits all over everywhere, and I'm going to stamp these. any which way like so so that one went off the page so I stamp it again there we go because we have plenty of things to, to put on so we don't need to completely cover with this one oh definitely need to sort my chamois out so I can clean that properly so with this one I want to create some like danglies and I'm not entirely sure I need to really ink it up much maybe two inkings will be plenty so up there, and then maybe a little bit there. I think that would be fine. Yeah, definitely chamois is not wet enough. Hold on a second. I have some... Oh, that's alcohol. That will not help. I'm just going to spray some of my water on my chamois. Save me running away to the bathroom from you all. You wouldn't want me to leave. <laughs> okay so we're going to take this little one which is that is it focusing yeah so that one and then i'm gonna stamp this one like so and i'm gonna not stamp up the stalk I did it by accident on the first one and it's gone into the flower slightly. So then this one will go here. Oh, I love this stamp set. Please let it be in the new catalog. <laughs> right, so that's going to look like it's you have to keep it looking like it's been cut from like a big piece of paper. Clean that off a little bit. Oh, turn my hand blue. I just thought maybe I should pop that there just to come in from that side. Okay, so that's that one. Whoa. Then I'm going to grab... The other one which is this one and I'm gonna try and only ink up the top half so we're gonna go like that and then that one is gonna come from below well that's coming from nowhere <laughs> that did not work very well did it okay 
So I can fill that in with something else. It is perfectly fine. It's not a disaster. You do not need to turn your paper over or throw it in the bin or whatever. It is salvageable. I love Knight of Navy. Um, I love the monochrome look. I have done it with basic grey on um, basic white cardstock. So I thought maybe I'd try a different colour this time. So, see now I'm getting a line up here. So I probably won't do it now, but I may do a little bit of stamp surgery just on this piece here and this piece here, just to trim off a bit of rubber. Um, you haven't used it yet, Mum. Come on. Honestly. Okay, so on this one, I think we're going to come from here. And then the stamped off one, I'm going to do down there. And then I'm going to have it come up from down here as well. I reckon you can probably get a third generation stamp. Yep, yes you can. <laughs> yes. Okay. So maybe this one would come from this angle here. And then we could stamp that in there to fill that gap. And then maybe do that there. And then maybe just the tops of the flowers there to make it look even. And even one there. Okay, so I'm going to change to misty moonlight oh sorry oh knocked you sideways then sorry guys right misty moonlight is slightly lighter but i would like to use this it looks like a receipt and if i if you read it i think it's something to do with a ring or like a deposit on a ring or something, or a ring to be made for somebody. So I'm stamp it off once, and then I am just literally going to put some. And I mean, you can get about five, maybe six stamps out of one inking up. So trying to do it evenly but it kind of fills in all your any background pieces that are a little bit you're not quite sure of right so that will do for that one <laughs> she says as she carries on stamping okay so that's that one then we have a smaller one so I don't need the big stamp <laughs> I don't need I don't need the smallest one either guys because I just threw it on the floor now then let me get this on there so <laughs> I would have used the small block but I've got to just thrown it so this one I'm going to use full strength and then it's stamped off version Make it look like it's peeking out of places. I'm sorry if you can hear banging. A child is banging somewhere. Can't quite work out where exactly, but they are. Okay, so I think we have an even number of those. Put that in the background there. So it looks like it's behind all the flowers because it's been stamped off a couple of times and then we have this little one 
that's like that I don't actually I think that might like a post it would be on a letter maybe I don't know now the only thing we haven't got in this one is dotage so we're gonna need some aren't we I think You've been making flowers. Hi, Cindy. Hang on, what did I miss? Somebody said, ouch. I can't do it. Can't do what, Claire? Sorry. I cut my... Oh, you can't cut it. Mm. It's, it's all right. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> <coughs> Seriously, it doesn't hurt. What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so we have a few little spots that need a bit of something. So I will find some dotage. So, and this, at the moment, this is my favourite stamp set. So what have we got? What can we use? What can we use? I'm trying to think of something besides... Uh, forever fern because I have used my forever fern so much because I had it as soon as the catalogue came out that now it doesn't really uh, stick to the block for me which is which is a bit you know it's a bit sad really okay so as I said before dotage not a very big dotage so we're just going to stamp twist stamp again like so just in the gaps where I think I might need it turn it round as well twist it turn in I mean dotage just finishes it off doesn't it it's just oh look at me with my ink all over my block <laughs> making a mess today I have some sort of whistling thing going on with my nose what is that about I would like to know right have I missed anywhere I wonder there you can see a white bit so basically what you do is you're looking for your white areas where you haven't got any sort of background to fill the space so there we go I think that is done ski so let's move this out of the way because the The grid paper kind of makes it look different. Okay, so you tried, you decided to put your whole elbow and arm in the pink, in the pink ink pad, then all over the one sheet wonder you had stamped. Oh, well, I don't like that bit, Claire. Bless you. Oh, thank you, ladies. Yeah, so I will be making some cards. Um, yeah, I love the curvy dotage, Linda. I do. Now I've got used to how many times I need to, you know, <laughs> I have to stamp it quite a number of times because I'm so used to having the, the, um, even my, um, which is the meadow one, quiet meadow. That one is just exquisite and it is huge dotage. So this one's quite tiny for dotage, but as you can see, it works really well. So there we go, guys. We have made a card <laughs> and a one-sheet wonder. 
using very vanilla cardstock, which is the same for both, and also the Ranunculus um, stamp set, um, which I use for the background, and the rainbows. So don't forget that the... Um, oh, you witnessed her do it, Linda. Oh, was it on Zoom and I wasn't there? That's so sad. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Um, yeah, I'll be on shortly. Just got to get the, the short feral one to sleep. And then I can join you. But this is it for tonight. So don't forget, celebration finishes Monday. So get your orders in for that. But then the new offer comes in for 20%. I don't know what it is all. I think it's across, you know, that. But there's a list. I will be putting it onto my Facebook page. But there is a list of dies. And the reason there's a list of dies and stamp sets is because it is 20% off the mini cut and emboss. So 20% the mini cut and emboss and then... Um, there's some dies that fit into that one so there's 20% off those stamps and die sets as well so bargains to be had there ladies so that starts on I think it's Tuesday but I will put a Facebook page a Facebook poster up to let you all know look at me I'm covered in ink now okay so thank you all so much for watching oh if anyone lives local to me oh mum that'll be you um, if anybody lives local, I will be doing a class at my home. Um, if you'd like to be involved, then please do give me a message and I will let you know what you need and how much it is and all the details. So thank you so much for watching. Lots of love to everybody. Goodbye.